Guess what? Guess what? As you walk back across the bed, you are going to Pollyanna and Mavericks today, and they're on their way to get you right now. Well, good morning, Lionhearts. Your old pal Jordan the Lion. Well, he's gone. He has been picked up, and he is off to have a blast. I don't know what he's going to do. He's probably going to go to the park for a little bit later, but uh, we are going to go out and do some vlogging now. I just spent the last hour, I've been, you know, I told you we we're going to go to Mexico here in a couple of weeks, so I've just been kind of trying to map out what I want to see, where I want to see it, how I want to see it, how long I want to be there, all that kind of stuff, so I'm getting more and more excited, and I know this is going to be a great trip, and I know that any of you that are willing to watch, you are going to love it, because this is probably going to be right up there with some of my favorite places to go unless you know I'm somehow sorely you know saddened by something there I can't imagine how that would be it looks like just a dream place so we're gonna have fun uh, exploring Mexico but today what we're gonna do is I was trying to think you know I have a ton of ideas and things that I want to do and one of the things that kept popping out at me is I was like you know my whole life I've heard the word or the two words together Rodeo Drive you probably have heard of Rodeo Drive too, but I have never been on Rodeo Drive. I don't know what's on Rodeo Drive, so I thought, why not go today, take a walk down Rodeo Drive and see what's there. Let's actually see what's on Rodeo Drive. So, let's go. They're gonna be doing the uh, Bruce Willis roast. Well, there's your Minnelli Mansion update. Right there, they're working on it. Now I realize that I misspoke. I thought that I had never been on Rodeo Drive, but technically I have. We all have. It was about a year ago on Father's Day, they do a big car show um, up and down Rodeo. They basically have like cars, three or four rows of cars going all the way up and down Rodeo, and we went and vlogged that. But because I was there for a car show, I didn't pay attention to anything around it. So this will be a, a whole new experience. Like I said, I have never walked around down here but it's something you always hear mentioned it's uh it's one of those places that's always um kind of affiliated with the rich and famous and beverly hills so let's check it out and the way that i realized i had been over here before was uh because when i was driving over here to park I drove by the O'Neill house and I went, wait a minute, last time I was over here was, and I started putting it all together. Isn't that such a great house? I love it. I have vlogged this before, so if you're interested in it, go, uh, go type in the O'Neill house. You might remember Richard Gere at this house. And that's, it's a really cool story to why this house is the way it is. And I don't, it was never even finished, but it was one man's dream. And once he passed away, his wife kept it going. So go, uh, go watch the vlog and find out the rest of the story. It's actually the house from Breathless, the movie Breathless. If you've ever seen that, check it out. Before we head on to uh, Rodeo, I want to take a look in this art park because I'm always on the other side of the park and I never make it over here to show you guys any of this stuff. So let's take a look and see what this is. I'm not putting two and two together quite yet. Well, you can see there's a layer peeling away there, whatever. Let's read the placard. Let's see what it's all about. It's called erratic. That's all it says. Okie dokie. Okay, this is a little bit more my speed. I'm a little bit more into this. These are really well done. These great three-dimensional statues of some far out flowers. Far out crazy tulips and roses, it looks like. Notice they have the, the barricade up. Reminds me of Little Shop of Horrors, especially this front one. Feed me, Seymour! 
Well, this one's interesting. It's a, a guy sitting on the ground holding his knees, but there's all kinds of shapes and looks like different languages and nationalities of things all combined in one. It's called Endless, except it has no face. Take a look at the face. It's a big empty spot. Huh. All right, let's go hit Rodeo. Well, this is pretty much the official start of what's considered Rodeo Drive. It's basically the uh, the shopping district of it, so we got Brooks Brothers right there, which is where Clark Gable used to get most of his suits done, and uh, St. Lauren over here. So we're gonna walk up this side and then work our way back up this side. Clothing store. And you have Zodig and Voltaire. D squared. Looks like suits. Alexander McQueen. They just did like some crazy documentary about this guy. He's apparently pretty far out there. Kind of window shop and see what they uh, what they sell here. Lacoste. Get yourself a gold bed. This, let's see. I remember this when we came last time. There's like a little, little outdoor kind of shopping plaza here. All right, let's head back out to uh, Rodeo Drive. These are all the places that are inside that little bureau. Those are all watches. So that's how a watch is supposed to be displayed when you buy it. Most of mine come from uh, like the Asian eBay. And Stuart Wetzman, which looks like uh, purses and women's clothing and stuff. That's trippy. Check out all that. It's like copper colored. Only on Rodeo Drive would somebody leave a Corvette running at a parking meter. Classic. Now this is actually pretty interesting because these are uh, women's bathing suits and dresses and stuff and they're actually pretty cool looking. I think we've all seen a guess. Oh, it's luggage. 
Shelly told me a funny story about this uh, this store right here. She said that when she was married to, uh, well, she was dating, I can't remember if they were married yet or not, but it was Tony Franciosa, and she said he didn't have that much money, so whenever he would do something to make her mad, he would uh, go somewhere and buy her jewelry, and one time he got a phone call from this store saying that um, he had come and bought her like some ring that she had just gotten from him and that she owed like $2,000 or something to the store. <laughs> okay, oh, that's nice. I think it only goes for one or two more blocks down this way. There's Cartier. Chanel, a guy filming in the middle of the street. They also, I think this next intersection is Dayton Way. To the right, like one or two buildings, I'd have to rewatch it. They filmed a, uh, an A-Team episode there in an art gallery. Because I remember you could see the, uh, the Dayton Way and Rodeo Drive signs in the background. They even have an ice cream truck over here. What is LeBron here? Then you have the Prada store. Some sort of a, uh, some sort of special sneaker. Never heard of them. Oh, it's made of calf skin. Whoa. Kind of Michael Jackson type shoes. Silver chrome penny loafers. And then there's Coach. Greetings from New York City. What? Wow, check out the front of the Dior building. It's pretty crazy. Oh, we got a statue down here. I was just sitting here thinking, like, how do they not have a statue in Beverly Hills on Rodeo Drive? I mean, Bob Barker or something. You gotta have somebody, right? Somebody. Wow, that's one heck of a Louis Vuitton display over there on the corner. Check that out. You see on the inside, there's like all that weird chrome. It almost looks like a tree root or something. And then this Back to the Future looking space age stuff right here and then this uh this headless statue yeah definitely not definitely not bob barker definitely not wow it's pretty crazy looking wow check out we got to go in just a little bit look at that wow Dang, Louis Vuitton, that looks awesome. Almost blinding. 
Fred Heyman Place. And then when it drops you off, whoa, how about that? Then when it drops you off, it drops you off at one of the most famous hotels in Beverly Hills. You might recognize this from Beverly Hills Cop. This was also the, uh, the site of where Clark Gable and Carol Lombard first kind of hooked up. They were slow dancing there at a uh, at a formal ball and you also may know it because that's the hotel that Whitney Houston passed away in in her bathtub in room 424 now you know one of the interesting things about it is they um, they did the same thing with her room that she passed away and they, that they did with Anna Nicole Smith, which is they got rid of every single thing from the room knowing that people would keep trying to rent out that room. So after she passed away, they shut down the room for like a month or so, I believe, and um, didn't let anybody stay there. And then they did a total renovation. They took every single thing head to toe out of the room. So there's not one thing left in that room that was in there when she passed away. But that's also the, uh, that's also in Pretty Woman. Now, we're gonna cross over here to Tiffany and Company and take a look at the, um, the statue up there holding up the clock. There's Tiffany and Company. And Shelly also told me she got a few bills from this place as well. <laughs> So there's a little uh, kind of weird roundabout thing over here. So we're gonna actually walk up and around this and we'll kind of skip this part of the block. Maybe we'll come back down, but we're gonna do this. This is the more interesting side, I think. A lot of people taking photos over here. Very touristy spot. I'll have to do a little bit of talking because they got Frank Sinatra piped in here. Carolina Herrera is right in front of us. Kind of like this old school building right there. Has that old um, movie set look to it to me. There's the back of Tiffany. And there's Versace, the one that looks like it's uh, got Roman columns in front of it. Oh, Porsche? Wow. I take it they're not selling Porsches in here. Porsche design. Oh, it's uh, watches. As I was walking by the Porsche store, I heard a uh, woman walking by shopping and one of the sales associates going, is there anything I can help you with? And before he could even finish his sentence, she's like, no, not yet, not yet. <laughs> I was like, I know how she feels. That's the kind of shopper I am. When I go in, I want to look around for a minute before I'm getting uh, ambushed with what can I buy, what can I sell you? This particular part reminds me of Amsterdam for some reason. There's a little section in Amsterdam when you walk around, it kind of feels like this. Same type of stores too. And of course the cobblestones. Interesting. Interesting suit, interesting bird. Birds, uh. Oh, this guy's even wearing the suit. Classic. I'm all for that. PETA can't get mad at that, can they? That's, that's just making them look spiffy. Do you see the ram horns up there? Pretty cool. So this is the section that we skipped. There's a, uh, you know, of course a lot of clothing stores. But I looked up and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Look at the dome up there. It's uh, It's got a pretty unique pattern to it.
many different colors. It's even got like a weird spiral to it. Pretty cool. Now this may end up being the most boring vlog I've ever done in my life, but like I said, I've never paid any attention the one time that I was over here, so I thought it might make an interesting vlog. You know, like I said, you hear the name Rodeo Drive a lot, but you have nothing to, uh, nothing to know really what it is. This is the Harry Winston store. Pretty cool entrance. It's fine, fine jewelry. There's Dolce & Gabbana. Look at the display in there. Pretty colorful. When your own initials are enough. Interesting. Oh, you can rent a scooter here too if you want. There's the uh, Yves Saint Laurent store. What does the uh, Miami Vice look back? Emporio Armani. Bali. Jeez, what do you think that's made out of? That literally looks like it's made out of metal. The whole dress. Oh, this guy isn't that cool because he doesn't have his car running. You gotta have your car running when it's parked, dude. At least on this street. So right there you've got a, a Ferrari. Here's another. Oh, there's Rolex. What's up with this uh, this gold building up here? Those are nice. Oh, look at the door handle. It's a snake. This is what I was looking at. That is interesting. Tory Birch. Then of course Cartier. Yep, no amount of Patreon's gonna buy that. No way. All right, there's Chanel. Very Garbo-ish, isn't it? This is like window shopping day on Rodeo for us. Like I said, this this may end up being the most boring vlog I ever make. But I've said that before, so I may have a, uh, a challenge to top myself. That is a huge pair of pants, isn't it? Jeez. Wow, check out that Rolls Royce. It says, Bijan, the license plate matches what's written on the side right here. Which also matches all that, so. 
they're clearly advertising it. I don't know if I'd leave a car looking like that parked out right there where you could get sideswipe or something. And there's the storefront for it. So check out what's in their window. A Triumph signed by uh, Bruce Meyer. There's a hand popping out of there, huh? Well, this Armani store is definitely the most colorful place out here. It's amazing. It's all greens and pinks and kind of uh, has like a 50s feel to it. Here we go again. Man, nice. Little Ralph Lauren collection. And now we're back to Brooks Brothers. That's it. It's about two and a half or three blocks in length and we went up both sides so now you won't have to feel cheated. That's kind of cool. Look above the address. Well, there's nothing here right now, but take a look at that. That's got an old 50s design to it. Must have been something cool at one point. As I was walking past this, I was looking because I was like, you know, a house like this, you'll always see something new that you've never seen before. And as I was walking by, I had noticed pretty much everything the first time I was here, except for this. That is a UFO right there. <laughs> I did not notice that the last time I was here. That is pretty awesome. It's even like the Ed Wood Plan 9 style. Now check this out. Look up there in the cactus at that weather vane. It's like a jockey on a horse. That's really awesome. What do you think the story with the diver there is? Big neon sign of a diver there. Do you recognize the Emser Tile building from uh, Lethal Weapon? Well, good evening everyone. Come back and see me tomorrow. We are doing a an awesome vlog. Like I said, I, uh, I planned this a few months ago, put it in my calendar, and tomorrow is finally the day. So, have a great night. Get ready for tomorrow, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.